This is Jim Bob 17, living life just as a teen. Now before he goes to bed, let's hear what's in Jim Bob's head. Episode 2. Do dumb questions exist? Hey everyone, I have a question. Have you ever been asked a dumb question? Well, if you thought no, you might have actually just been asked one. But, if you answered yes, number one, why'd you just respond to your computer screen? And number two, uh, you're actually wrong. Why is that? Well, remember when you were in fifth grade and you were afraid to ask that one question because you thought it was dumb? And didn't your teacher try to comfort you by saying, Don't worry, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Well, your teacher lied. Because you know what? You were right. There are such things as dumb questions. Because the next thing you knew, there was that one kid in class that asked, Teacher, what's four plus five? And then you thought to yourself, Seriously? Are you that dumb? My 100-year-old grandmother still knows the answer to that. And I can do this. But then you realize, well, that was a dumb question, because he obviously is if you didn't know the answer to begin with. But anyway, the other type of question that bothers me is when people respond to you with, Who? Me? Even though you were clearly looking right at them. It's like you're up in front of the class at the end of a presentation, and you get ready to call on a few people for questions. So, you pick on a few people and answer their questions. But then, there's that one kid that as soon as you acknowledge them to ask their question, they look at you with that whole surprise look and say, Who? Me? And in your head, you're like, No, the zebra's sitting behind you. Of course you. But instead of actually saying that, you're nice and you acknowledge them by their shirt color or something. And then, there's that other instance when you're at a birthday party for someone who you don't really know that well, but, as a friendly gesture, you bought them a gift. And so, when you're ready to give them that gift, they give you that whole, oh wow look. And then she says, Aw, is that for me? And in your head, you're like, no, of course not. This is for my mother. And I'm just showing it to you to ask if you like how I wrapped it. Of course it's for you! But of course, yet again, you don't actually say that. And instead, you say, yeah, I got this for you. And so she opens it, pretends to like it, and then says, Aw, you shouldn't have. And then you think to yourself, yeah, I actually shouldn't have. So yeah, that's what I've got to say about dumb questions. So, starting from the top and going in a clockwise motion, up there is a subscribe button, so make sure you click that so you can get the notice for the next episode. Top right hand corner is this episode's best comment. And at 7 black, 7 plague, 7, that actually got me to laugh. Some of you guys are really funny with your comments. And uh, you don't mind if I use a pickup line sometimes, right? Bottom right hand corner is this episode's response question, which is, what is the dumbest question you've asked or have been asked? At the bottom is the description along with this week's featured video by Skipsnet, and these guys make some really funny skits. So if you have some time to spare, I definitely recommend checking them out. Otherwise, bottom left hand corner, thumb me, and finally top left hand corner is episode 1 in case you missed that. So until next time, Jim Bob, over and out.